Kyle Rittenhouse is on a world tour now that he has been uh, found not guilty. He's been on every political conservative talk show that you could think of, right? And I've defended Kyle Rittenhouse if you watch this channel. I defended the trial. I noted all the media lies, everything about him, right? I noted all these things. But I ain't gonna lie. When you watch Kyle Rittenhouse in an interview, it looks unnatural. It looks like he's trying to force this imagery onto the people that's not really him. I feel like he's really a timid, shy, nice, well-respected kid. But I feel like when he gets into these rooms with these conservative people, and though all the conservatives that he speaks with aren't like loud mouth, curse, and whatever, I feel like he's trying to portray something that's not him, right? I've seen an interview he did with Charlie Kirk. I've seen one he did with Tucker Carlson. On Tucker Carlson, on this TV, he wasn't cursing. But other ones, he was trying to cuss and things like that. It just looked really unnatural. So now, he's gone after, in some cases, conservatives' favorite celebrity to go after, and it's LeBron. So let's just take a look at this clip from the podcast, uh, You Are Here, on the Blaze Network. Oh, lemons. That's so, that I'll, I'll eat lemons straight up. It's really good. Well, you know, LeBron really? said you eat yeah. lemon drops, and then he got yeah, right? uh, and then he got the flu. Obviously, lemons don't make Kyle cry. He just eats them. I eat okay? them straight up. I threw away Bronny. my Lakers shirt. Just Did so you? everyone knows. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed you had one in the first yeah, place. I'm from LA. I'm Yo, trying I, to get I was a Lakers fan, too, before he said that. Really? Yeah. I was really pissed off when I he said that, because I like LeBron. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, LeBron. Seriously. Amen. You know, you have to give the man credit. It took all four of his brain cells to even construct that tweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he had That's to run fair. it by China first. Well, that's true. And then they promptly yeah. died. Yeah. So he had every, Chinese slave every, children write it. Exactly. For every word, they killed a, a Uyghur. It was it's very sad. <laughs> so once again, LeBron gets China slander, this, that. And I get it. 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 China does effed up stuff. We talked about this with Enos Can Cancer. He plays in the NBA. He signed a Nike. He won't speak out against China, but he'll speak out against things that go on in America. So people have an issue with that. I don't have an issue with that because most people speak out about shit that pertains to them. If we spend all day speaking on everything that goes on all across the world that we really can't change, we be talking forever for no reason at all. So that's their favorite thing. That's a talking point, right? But people have blown this story up and made this like a thing, Kyle Rittenhouse versus LeBron James. And I get it because it's a clickable thing. I'm sure people will click and watch this video. And people have been like kind of on Kyle Rittenhouse, right? There's two parts of this, right? The part that I don't agree with what people are on Kyle Rittenhouse about, the LeBron James like fuck you thing. First of all, Kyle Rittenhouse probably never said if he was in front of LeBron James. Just Let's just put that there. He would never do that. But I understand it completely because like I said, people were so confused when Kyle Rittenhouse was popping up on conservative you know news channels youtube channels podcasts if you're going through a situation and only one side is pretty much you know giving you a fair shake speaking highly of you then of course when you get done with whatever you're going through you're gonna go rock with that side of the of the aisle because they're the only ones that were speaking out for you the other side was calling white supremacists no, no, no wonder he hasn't been to do an interview with joy reed or uh, wasn't it Cro uh, Tiffany Cross or Don Lemon? Chris any of these people that called him white supremacist, Brian Stelter, who, who, duh, he wouldn't go do an interview with them. And of course, he feel away about LeBron James saying what he said about him. Now, I have a critique about LeBron James too, right? The old China thing, I don't have a critique because I feel like most people in that situation would do the exact same thing as LeBron James. Everybody's able to speak against him because they're not in that situation. So it's easy for me to Monday morning quarterback see all the fucked up shit going on in China and be like, oh, LeBron is a, is, a, is, a, is a bitch for not speaking out against China and what they're doing to the Uyghurs and the forced labor that they have for children making night. It's easy to say all that. But don't sit there and on your high horse. You, if you wear any Nike, any type of uh, apparel in general, really, you're supporting this institution as well. That's my only thing about it. When people speak out against LeBron, he's signed to Nike. He's a piece of shit. But you wear Nike running shoes. You wear Nike track suits. You wear Nike polos. Like, stop all the anti-China shit when you give in to China as well. That's my only thing about the hypocrisy of all that type of shit, right? And also with LeBron James, I get it. He jumps out there and says things that don't make any sense. The Kyle Rittenhouse thing, I didn't understand why he was so, like, eager to hop into that conversation, especially with all the evidence that's going on around it. 
I get it, LeBron James is a busy guy. LeBron James probably didn't have time to sit there, watch the trial, look at all the details. But you got to understand, when you are LeBron James, you have like 50 million Twitter followers, probably 100 million Instagram followers. You're the biggest basketball player um, on the planet. Every time you tweet, talk, do anything, it is magnified. When you talk about certain things, you should probably know what you're speaking about. In the first major blunder I saw, person, now maybe other blunders people could point to, but the major one that I saw was whenever the Makai Bryant shooting happened. If you don't remember Makai Bryant, Makai Bryant was the young uh, black girl who was lunging to stab someone and the police shot her. And I said, if you look at this and try to claim police brutality, I think you're insane. Because what most people on the internet do, they don't necessarily say that this instance is wrong, or they don't frame it as what he did was messed up. They'll frame it as if this person was this, it would be different. But a lot of people misconstrue that with, oh, it's still police brutality, it's dangerous, it's nasty, it's whatever. And LeBron James posted a picture of the guy, pretty much essentially doxed him, said, you are next in big bold letters. This was right after Derek Chauvin got convicted. This was right after the um, the other shooting that took place in Minnesota where the lady was like, Taser, 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 pulled out her gun and killed the guy. I forgot what that, that case or the guy in the case's name was. But that was after that. So I get the LeBron criticism. But the whole China thing, when we wear Nike, Polo, this and that, and we, we got the, probably these microphones that we use are made in China, the laptops we get are made in China, the chips are made in China, everything's made in China. You know, it's kind of just hard for everybody to just really speak and be stay on their moral high ground when it comes to China. And I say this over and over again. And I know it's just a talking point. I know it gets people riled up. It's for ratings, clicks, views, and all these things like that. That's why I'm surprised people are confused why Kyle Rittenhouse is going on these shows or why – uh, podcast, talk show host, or whatever, are eager to interview him. Like, this trial wasn't the biggest trial since Derek Chauvin trial. I feel like this one maybe have been bigger and more talked about than the Derek Chauvin trial because we knew what was going to happen with Derek Chauvin. I know we can sit here and, like, why it was going on. We don't know if they just we, – he was, we knew it was going to go on. Right? We knew it was going to go on. But my point is, why wouldn't conservatives have this guy on? They support him. They identify with him. They believe he is one of them and he may be one of them. And it's going to get you views. If Kyle Rittenhouse wants to sit down and talk to me, I'll fucking talk to him. It's media. That's what people do. Something happens to you, big story. Once it's over, we want the tell-all. We want the exclusive. So I don't understand the confusion behind Kyle Rittenhouse media tour. But he does look cringe in his media tour. I'm not going to lie. From clips I've seen and little instances of, that I've seen, some of the shit looks cringe. Like he's trying a little bit too hard to be somebody that he's not to fit into whatever he believes the conservative viewership wants him to be. That's what I. That's just me. I don't know him personally, but that's what I feel. And that's what I see when I see someone 